thing is, like hundreds of years ago, people used to live in these cabins. They've just revitalized them <laughs> over the past <laughs> 20 years. Mark, you tell the story. You, you tell it. You, what else? Mm -hmm. He's trying to tell you. We're Matt and Pat. We're digital nomads and make money online. We just had a baby. We bought a 2017 Subaru Forester. We packed it tight. And now we're going on a road trip around the USA in search of a great place to raise a family. Come along with us on this adventure. In our last episode, we stayed in a 100-year-old barn in Woodsboro, Texas. After that, we drove three hours north towards Houston, Texas, and stayed in the city called Humble, Texas. In this video, we visit one of the most popular gas station stops in Texas called Bucky's, and we try their most famous fudge. And later in Humble, Texas, we go to the most famous park called Jesse H. Jones Park and Nature Center, and we walked around and came up with an amazing revelation about where we want to live. All right, so we made it to Bucky's. Awesome. Let's go check it out. All right, so this is what they're known for, the fudge. Let's go check it out. Right, here we go. It's delicious. Mint chocolate, there's Tatiana's favorite. Look at this deliciousness. Look at this machine work. Look at the pecans. Right, so we got a deal. We're getting a peanut butter chocolate, a mint chocolate, a chewy praline, and the bonus is we get two more. Let's see, what should we choose? All right, so I chose Rocky Road. And I chose birthday cake. Here's the best fudge in the world with a special cinnamon mint treat for you. Oh, thanks, babe. You're wow. welcome. Mm, Gotta go slow motion on that part. <laughs> so good. Look at Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've made it. Welcome to the new land where the cabins exist. Um, the funny thing is, like hundreds of years ago, people used to live in these cabins. They've just revitalized them <laughs> over the past <laughs> 20 years. Mark, you tell the story. You, you tell you, What else? Mm -hmm. He's trying to tell you. Okay, I'll tell them the rest. No. Hey. Mark wants to tell us. Hey. <laughs> oh! All right, so Mark, what do you think of the new house that we bought? What do you think? Tell everybody. That's what I'm talking about. Sold. Spot Sold. it. Woo! Check it out. It's our house. What else do you think about this house, Mark? <laughs> Alright, so one downside about living in this area is the bugs. There's a lot of mosquitoes, a lot of flies. So keep moving your legs. Make sure they're not on you. So you go like this. You know, it kind of feels good when you have to get bit. They kind of itch it or slap it a little bit. It kind of feels good. So we were walking around the park and I found this edible garden. And I realized how much I love edible gardens and I want to live next to one, not own the garden because it requires a lot of work, but some sort of community garden. I really wanted that in the next place to call home. Okay, we've got lettuce, oregano, lemongrass, kale, basil, dill, chard, and green onions. Welcome to our tiny home. All right. This is a one bedroom, one bath suite. All right. Let's see what Mark. So come on in. Okay. So in here, over here, we have our stove and our dishwasher. And over here, we have a 
a pasta maker and we grind coffee. Mmm, coffee. Thank you for coming to our one bedroom, one bathroom. <laughs> These structures inspire people to make more natural homes. They might not outlast the storms, but you can just make another one next year. Yeah. beautiful than I thought. It reminds me of Washington State actually because there's a lot of these kind of bushes and grass and, and trees and the weather, it's kind of humid. I loved that garden back there because I'm like, wow, if I lived around the corner, I would probably be gathering yeah. these fresh herbs all the time. Yeah, don't you want to make a, make a garden like that yourself? I would love a garden like and that. And it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, but it's amazing because all those plants live here. You can plant all those because of the climate. So we made this chart about what we want in a home. We want it to be safe. We want trees and nature. We want humidity, you know, raining every so often. And we love waking up to rain. We want an international airport so we can visit family and friends and also travel. We want an edible garden within walking distance. We want it to be short-term rental friendly so that we can own an Airbnb. We want parks and trails, and we want diversity. We want all kinds of different people and culture and food. So what we're trying to do with this chart is manifest this into our lives. I just wanna give some kudos to my husband, Matt Morris, because this whole park idea was his idea. <laughs> he said, come on, I'm taking you on an adventure today. That's and right. you took me to the most epic spot, so thank you. You're welcome, it's my pleasure. Hmm, that sounds pretty cool, the beach, let's go. Oh my God, babe. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell too to be notified of the very next video. Have a good one and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.